All right, so we're going to talk about reducing the file size of your WIM images. And one way to do that is using compression. Another way to do it is to ma make sure that the file changes that you make while you're um, working with your WIM images are ex expressed in your image. And what I mean by that is that when you mount a WIM image and you delete files from it, and then you unmount and commit those changes, the WIM file will not be smaller. It will actually be the same size. Um, it just won't have those files in there. So the way to have the changes that you make in your WIM images expressed in the WIM image is to essentially create a new WIM image. And the way to do that is use, using the ImageX export command. So let's look at how that works. Uh, let's find export. Now, I have this file here that I've already deleted stuff from. It's 130 megabytes right now, and it should should be smaller than that. I've deleted about 20 megabytes from it. So what we need to do is export that WIM image to a new new image. And um, what we have here is, is the export command. And also to note, this WIM image has multiple images inside of it. So if I want to retain the those multiple images uh, instead of supplying the image number m like uh, we do for most of the commands I'm supplying the asterisk to say that I want to export all of the images within this WIM image so uh, here's the, here's the command we give it the WIM image that we want to export I'm telling it which image in that uh, image file and then we have to give it a new WIM image to uh, m make those changes to so I'm going to run this, and it's it's pretty quick, and you'll see that it's um, made the changes to both images. So let's come over here and look at exported test, and you'll now see that exported test is 63 megabytes. That's a significant change um, from what we have in there. I might have even deleted some important files, but that's not um, the point. So as you can see. Um, if you want to have the changes that you've made to your WIM files expressed uh, within within your WIM image, you need to export it so that those changes uh, uh, will will actually be there. 